Hi, welcome to Caterpillar's Tanaha Hills uh, Proving Ground and Customer Center. I'm here with Sherry Dusky Rinker, who is a New York Times bestselling author. Thank you so much for being with us, Sherry. Oh, it's my honor and pleasure. Thank you so much. This must really be interesting for you. So what Caterpillar's doing is creating a book, that a children's book that, that Sherry wrote that was on the New York Times bestseller list, Good Night, Good Night Construction Site, in reality with, with real machines. This must be fantastic to be walking through this landscape. To walk in and see them all recreating the book was pretty surreal experience. Were you um, a, a, a machinery fan before the boys? Before I had children? Nope. I think like a lot of parents, their passions become your passions. So if your kid's really into dinosaurs, you know everything about dinosaurs. Right. And if your kid's really into, you know, whatever, soccer, you know a lot about soccer. And my kids, and especially my second son, were really into trucks. Right. So I learned a lot about trucks. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. right. And wrote a story about it. That came about because my little guy, we'd read truck books before bed. Instead of them sort of luring him off to sleep, he was so excited about them that it just had the exact opposite effect that I wanted. He became really <laughs> wired. Yeah. And so the more we read, the more excited he was and he'd start jumping up and down on his bed, you know, making truck noises or wanting to, you know, dig out the toy trucks and play. And so it was, uh, it was kind of this exhausting process of getting him to go to sleep at night until we sort of played a game about Let's imagine trucks going to sleep. So what are they doing right now while we're all cuddled in bed? And that's really how the story developed. You were really inspired by Virginia Lee Burton's books, Mike Mulligan and Marianne yeah. and Katie the Snowplow and that yeah. sort of thing. Were you reading those books to him? I read those books to both the kids. I grew up with The Little House, mm. and that was my personal introduction into Virginia Lee Burton. And so when I had these little boys um, that liked things that go in vehicles, I picked up Choo Choo the Train and Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel and Katie and Mabel the cable car. And I think maybe somewhere you know, I never set out to be a children's book author. It really wasn't on my bucket list. It was nothing I set out to do, but I sort of wonder in the back of my mind if that early love that I had of books like hers is yeah. part of the reason that I'm here. Interesting that she had two sons as well. She did. Uh, and, and you know, you had that experience. I mean, so you can kind of put yourself in her shoes in, in a sense, can't you? Well, it's funny. I wrote a nonfiction book, the only nonfiction book I've ever really been interested in wanting to write. And it's about her life. It's called Big Machines, the story of Virginia Lee Burton. And we, there's so much similarity. She had the two boys and wrote these stories to entertain them. Mm -hmm. And that's in large part why I've, you know, written my books. Yeah. And um, when I was researching the book, I was fortunate enough to be able to meet uh, her, her son, uh, mm -hmm. Eris, um, and go through archives and old sketchbooks. And that was an amazing experience. One yeah. of the highlights of this career, for sure. Wow, that's great. Yeah. And, and that's, a, that's a children's book, too, essentially, right? It's a book that, 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 that it is. Small yes, kids it's a can, children's can picture book. Yeah. So hopefully, my goal was to try to get kids who had never, their parents, um, who'd maybe not ever heard of her, um, a little introduction. And maybe they would be enticed to pick up some of her titles. You took off from that success and there was, that was that what really was kind of a, a lightning bolt uh, for you in terms of getting that book published, right? I was a graphic designer at the time. I'd been doing that job for about 25 years. I'd been advertising, marketing firms. I had my own small business at that time. You know, the pace of that business and just, I was just looking for something different. And so when the idea for the book came, like I said, it was not my intention to, you know, to switch careers. It was just something that felt lovely and a, like a tribute to motherhood and my children and my experience raising these little boys. And they and there's a 794 truck here. I noticed that. I uh, love yeah. that 794. I might. Um, have to feature a big mining truck, but I did get to take a ride in that. It's uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool vehicle there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, Sherry, it, I really appreciate Thank it you, so Larry. much. It was your such time. a pleasure.